Listen, I got the red light on because this is a red alert. Anytime you see this red light on, I'm about to talk about something serious, something important that I just feel it's important for you to be aware of, all right? The Bible says, be not ignorant of Satan's devices, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You see the drop down menu here. You see the options, all right? And I'm going to play it back a couple of times. I really want you to take a good look, good look at this and understand, you know, why this is a spiritual war, all right? It's not enough to, you know, sign these legislations, right? Like Obama did and say, okay, you guys can get married. You you guys want to love each other, right? That's not enough. They're trying to spread out and branch out and make you, all right, confess the lie out of your mouth. Please understand, it, it's a big deal. A lot of teachers are dealing with this, right? You got to use my pronouns. It is a big deal because what they're trying to do is God made them male and female and said it's good, right? So what the devil's trying to do is get you to confess the lie out of your mouth, right? So if your student comes to you and says, you know, clearly it's a he, but they want to be identified as a she, they want you to identify them as such. And then the persecution is, well, if you don't do it, you're going to get fired. Wisdom is, hey, what's your name? I'm going to call you by your name. But if you're a he, I'm not going to call you a she. Right. All that. Oh, you're misgendering me. I'm going to counsel you. I'm going to get you fired. What's your name? Just tell me what your name is. That's what I'm going to call you, because what I will not do, I will not bow down and speak the lie out of my mouth. What they're trying to get you to do with this drop down menu, the cisgender thing. Right. Or. Yeah, that's what it is. You're a cisgender male. No, I'm just a man. Like it always been male, female. Right. You go to the doctor's office. I've seen some show that they did. Um where they were, you know, examining this person and it was a male that transitioned or didn't even make the full transition, right, um, into being a female, looked like a female, all that kind of stuff, right, strong delusion. Come to find out they're doing the examination and this person has testicular cancer, right? Females can't get that. So the delusion is we're going to put this drop down menu and it's no longer male or female, right? We're going to label you and you're going to start saying it. You're, cis, you're a cisgender male. You're a cisgender female. Or you're all of these other things because they're trying to force it on you. It's not enough that they just do what they do in the privacy of their home. No, we need you to acknowledge the lie out of your mouth. Why? Because there's a spirit, an antichrist spirit that's behind this trying to get us to bow down. It looks a little bit different, but make no mistake. Don't let it be watered down. Don't think that you're just being accom accommodating. If you acknowledge somebody by their preferred pronouns, you are bowing down. Okay? That's just a fact of the matter. You're bowing down to that demonic spirit. This is something I feel you should be aware of. Pray about. Go to www.marcusrogersministries.org if you want to support what I'm doing in Chicago. Because, hey, I'm going hard. And this is just the beginning. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name. Don't bow.